Hello everyone, it's Gina here again. Uh, today I decided I'm going to make a video about my uh, natural products which I'm using and I started using. Uh, I've been for a long time in situation when I um, had to balance kind of finances and uh, and my vegan kind of lifestyle uh, which didn't allow me for a long time to use natural products um, because they tend to be a lot more expensive but I'm hoping to get back to uh, natural products like cosmetics and uh, cleaning products and things like that. So yesterday I was out shopping um, it was really for uh, clothes for my children who grow up uh, out of it, uh, everything very fast um, but I thought I'm there in the in the shopping center so I'm going to treat myself to something really nice. So I'm going to share with you what I've got. I visited uh, two shops, um, Lush, who is making vegan and natural products, and also the Body Shop. Uh, in the Body Shop, I've got this lovely Japanese Camellia body cream. It's it smells absolutely beautiful. Now I can't. I can't say if it's vegan or not, it's, it's a lot more natural than normal kind of uh, conventional products, uh, that's for sure. Uh, so I'm getting slowly um, back into kind of easing my way into more natural products and stuff. Uh, it, it's, it's beautifully smelling beautifully and I used it already and um, it's um, uh, very easy to apply. It goes quite a long way. This is a huge tab so I... I assume I'm going to be using it for quite a while, so it was worth the money. Um, and it smells beautiful. My skin is just so happy at the minute. <laughs> and so am I, because, you know, when you smell it on yourself, um, even after a couple of hours or something, you know, it just lifts your spirit up and it just makes day a lot more beautiful, even if it's drizzly out there like it is here. At the minute. So this is my first product. I really like their new range, Spa of the World. Um, they have different batches, different creams, so go just try it, um, have a try, have a smell and pick what suits you. They had some African ones, um, I think Himalayan something, some butter or something like that and also um, and sea salt scrub for, for the body. However, that one, I think I heard some review that the uh, the sea salt kind of in shower um, um, kind of dissolves in the water, so it doesn't, it's not that brilliant as a scrub, but you know, it's up to everybody. So go and try it and you will see. Uh, secondly, what I've got in uh, the body shop is this lovely hemp cream. We've been using it many years ago. It's it's really nourishing for particularly dry skins. Um, so for me, who I'm washing my hands quite often, you know, um, or for anybody who is doing perhaps gardening and their hands are suffering with you know lots of dryness, then uh, that's that's the product to go. It really softens the skin beautifully. That's one of my favorite. It costs quite a lot of money, but again, the tub is enormous. It's 100 milliliters. Um, and uh, you need just a little bit. So again, little goes a long way. Uh, so I think it's again worth the money. Next product, which I, um, which I pur purchased there in the body shop is almond hand and nail cream. That one is the little one, 30 milliliters, which is kind of like normal hand cream size. Uh, I've got that one to take with me to put my handbag and you know have it have it ready wherever I am, you know, because this is kind of like industrial size. I don't want to be traveling and carrying around this. Uh, but this one, this one is uh, beautiful. So yeah, as I said, this is my go-to little cream. I didn't try that one yet, but it's supposed to be really good even for nails, so you know, kind of uh, 
more girly if you are a, if you are kind of concerned about the uh, nails as well as the, your skin. Um, I'm just trying it on. It's actually much much lighter than the hemp one, so you can you can spread it nicely and easily. Um, and it really smells beautiful. It's really like almonds. So, you know, you can smell that they are putting real almond oils in there and it's it's beautiful. And softens the skin very beautifully as well. So I'm pleased. I'm pleased. I tried it first time actually at the minute. Um, okay, next. Next, I'll share with you a couple of things which I already had home. Uh, and then I'll continue with the lash. Reason being because I have one product which encouraged me to go and uh, get another something similar. Anyway, first one is my one of my favorite soaps and it's this one, neem soap. It's called neem soap. As you see, it's uh, it's vegan, and um, you can get it in uh, onevillage.com. This is the website where you can get it, um, or they might have it in some. Um, health food kind of product shops or something like that or ethnic shops I actually am buying it in my local ethnic shop um, in Hexham um, and it lasts I think quite a long time but what I particularly love about it is uh, it leathers really well so you just put a little bit on and it just oh, it's just beautiful I like the smell that is uh, citronella in it, so it's quite refreshing and stuff. It's it's um, it's supposed to be really good also for like troubled skin. So if you have like blemishes or um, flare ups or whatever, and um, this is supposed to be quite good for that. Really like it. I really do like it. It's um, it's kind of like my little ritual in in. The, um, shower when I use these I like the smell of natural oils and this is this is really beautiful and how I said it just fluffs up really easily so if you have like um, a sponge for washing or whatever something like that um, it just it just works with that so beautifully so I love it so much recommend very much so nice natural and vegan obviously my other product is which um, I've got in my local health food shop is little perfume, tiny tiny perfume like that, and it's made of natural oils, essential oils, and I just loved it. It's little roller one like that. Now, this is the reason why I was kind of like I need to find something else because I asked actually. The other day, if the lady who was making them, who was actually making them locally here, she apparently is not making them anymore, which really, really upset me because this is just so beautiful. You really need tiny, tiny amount, tiny stuff amount. And oh, again, because it's made of natural oils, it just lasts for so long. Um, and it wasn't expensive at all. Uh, I mean, this was four pounds twenty, you know. Um, and yesterday I purchased similar size. I think it's same size in lash, um, something different, obviously. Um, and that was like sixteen pounds. So anyway, because I realized that I can't get this, I thought oh, I need to find something else. Obviously, it's not going to be the same, but I need something similar. So I'm really, really sad I can't purchase that. But yesterday, as I said, I went to Lush and I went to in their uh, in their shop and had a look in the section of the perfumes, and I found this one. Uh, it's called Sikkim Girl. And I said this is their little bottle. Uh, this is ten milliliters, I believe. Um, can't find it quickly. Never mind, I think this is 10 milliliters. Um, yes, here it is, 10 milliliters. So it's tiny, tiny, but again, it's vegan. It's vegan, not tested on animals. 
and it's handmade so you know people here locally are kind of making it you know for lush or you know who are employed there it's made of natural oils so so it lasts so long it really like you need tiny tiny little this is not rolling this is normal spray bottle as you see here so you just need one spray just touch up your um, uh, wrist perhaps and touch up on your on your neck or something like that so one tiny spritz goes a long way now what I advise you is with the natural products is um, when when I smelled it like that I was like oh no I'm not sure about that um, but when I put it on and you give it a couple of minutes to settle because obviously initially it's very very strong then it's the time to smell it and see if you like it or not anyway I chose this one and one of the ones which they had there and I'm really really pleased I brought it home and uh, tried it on myself it lasts a long time and it was it just oh, to me it's divine <laughs> to me it's just divine so in this one particularly is jasmine and um, frangipans and and tuber tuberose tuberose rose is gorgeous but it's very expensive also no no wonder that it's 16 pounds um but i think it's going to last for quite a long time it's, even though it's teeny teeny weeny they have uh, different sizes as well so if you like something and you're sure that that's what you want, then you can purchase bigger size. So I'm well delighted with this one. Um, next thing which I tried from Lush is this little brick, and it's uh, it's called Aromaco, and it's actually their solid deodorant. Now. I have a bit of a trouble with deodorants, natural deodorants, because they tend not to be as heavy due to usage kind of um, as the chemical ones. And I'm one of these people who need something really serious <laughs> for antiperspirant deodorant. So natural products don't tend to be antiperspirant, which means they don't stop your um, they don't stop your uh, sweat glands to produce the sweat. Which is good because that's why we have them however i need something what is going to suppress the bad smells of you know when the the bacteria starts breaking up the sweat so i tried a few natural products um one of them is the ro rock one of them is the rock um deodorant which you kind of like Wet a little bit or put on your wet skin and uh, apply it that way. It's kind of like natural minerals and kind of salt. Uh, and that doesn't seem to be doing very much difference for me. So I thought I'll try this one and we'll see. And it doesn't have particularly good smell, but I mean, you know, um, it doesn't smell of anything really very much. It smells like some natural soap. It's not. It's it's oil based, so you know, it's not like it's going to be fluffing under your arms or anything like that it's oil so you warm it up a bit um in your hand perhaps or something and uh, apply it um, under your arms and um I'll, I'll see it seems like it's okay so far um so we'll see how it goes next one which i've got there <laughs> which was kind of a uh, impulse buy but i couldn't help myself yeah it was one of their um new products and it's this one. I just absolutely love the look of it. It looks like tiny uh, jewels, actually. You probably don't see it on the camera that well. And it's called Maple. Maple. Why did they bring up Maple product now in autumn? I have no idea. But the middle is mint smell. And it really... Oh, it smells so beautiful. I couldn't leave it there. I had to have it. So I didn't, I didn't, oh, I just love it. I didn't try that one on yet, 
but my whole bathroom smells so beautiful just because I had it laid there. So I can't wait to try this one. So it's a soap, um, as I said, um, minty. It smells very refreshing um, and it's called maple. So it's soap, natural soap, handmade, again, vegan. So I'll give it a go and I'll see how it goes. But the smell is, the smell is beautiful. So even for that, you know, I'm absolutely delighted with it. Um, last one, but not least, is uh, another Lush product, which I actually was given as a present and I still didn't use it. But I can't wait to use it. I think it's called Comforter. And it's one of those bubbly um, bath kind of bombs or whatever, you know, you crumble a bit in the bath. And it smells like pink, pink bubble gum. It's quite sweet and um, it's, it's kind of girly girly, you know. It's not for blokes really, but it's, it's girly. I like the colour. Why I didn't try it yet, because I don't bathe so much. I use usually, I take shower usually. This is, this is me. Um, so I'm just waiting for opportunity where I'm going to just draw myself bath, get rid of everyone and just sit down and enjoy it. That's for that time. So that's, that's what I'm going to do. Can't wait to, can't wait to actually try it. That was from my son, so... It's not that I wouldn't want to do it, but it's, it's kind of precious. <laughs> so yeah, that's another product from them. So I think this is for today it. Let's not, let's not be too long. Um, I could get on and on and on and on. Uh, so let me know what are your products and if you have uh, particularly some deodorant perhaps which you like or if you have Another idea is where you can get these tiny, or, or even bigger, but like natural oils, perfumes. Let me know. I'll have a look probably on Etsy and places like that. Um, I bet you can find some people who are making these beautiful things there. So um, I'll try to have a look there. Uh, if you know about some really good uh, deodorant, which is working well for you, let me know as well. So keep smiling, keep using nice natural products because they are um, a health fear for our bodies and skin and, and everything and also environment. So let's protect our environment and do beautiful natural things. I'll see you later then. Bye bye.